Here, I want to introduce the paper titled Deep Learning Without Poor Local Minima. So we all know that deep learning has been an amazing success. It has been very exciting and great. In addition to many successful applications, there are a lot of good explanations as to why deep learning is doing so well. But one aspect of deep learning that is relatively not well understood yet is training. Training a deep model usually is done via high-dimensional, non-convex optimization. In order to scale for high dimensionality, we usually have to use some local greedy algorithms such as gradient descent or its variants. But because of the non-convexity, local greedy algorithms can potentially get stuck near a locally optimal solution, as illustrated in this figure. So an important question is, for deep learning, what does the landscape look like? Does it look like something in this figure? Or something more structured, so the use of gradient descent, or SGD, can be theoretically justified? But in deep learning, there are various types of landscapes, depending on various architectures. So instead of thinking about landscapes in general, one more concrete question is, is there at least a deep model class without bad local minima? In other words, can we at least prove the existence of deep model class without bad local minima? One of the contributions of this paper is to prove that the answer is yes. More concretely, this paper proved the following statements. For deep linear neural networks, the objective function is non-convex and non-concave. But this paper proved that every local minimum is indeed a global minimum. So we don't have a problem of getting stuck near a local minimum. This paper also proves some interesting properties of saddle points. For shallow networks, there is no bad saddle point. Whereas for deep networks, there are bad saddle points. On the other hand, for deep nonlinear networks, this paper assumed unrealistic assumptions that were used in previous papers. Under those assumptions, this paper proved that indeed every local minimum is a global minimum. The contribution of this paper can be seen also in the context of previous work. For deep linear networks, this paper proved a conjecture from 1989 and more. The conjecture was stated in this previous paper and noted in a recent deep learning book in preparation. For deep nonlinear networks, this paper partially addressed an open problem stated in last year's cult. This paper also improved the state-of-the-art positive results about Rayleigh nets due to random matrix theory approach in the previous paper. In the oral presentation in NIPS 2016, the author of this paper will explain those statements in more detail. Thank you.